Okay, YouTube, so Paul Bates here, uh, day uh, 140 of our daily vlog here. And uh, today I really want to talk about what's going on here and, uh, and how the week went. A lot of things happened this week. Uh, we'll get to it here in a second. Uh, Chris actually went and looked at the boat on uh, Saturday. And he also, congratulations, he is a, an official captain now. He passed his captain's test, so we're super excited about that for him. And I'm glad that uh, he was able, and I'll talk about what happened with the boat here in a minute. But this week we spent a lot of time packing up here. You can see this room right here. It was completely full with boxes. Uh, all of that stuff's in the trailer. And we're also now sleeping on the ground, basically. I'll show you here. We're uh, on the mattress on the ground here. Uh, closets are all cleaned out. Um, and we're getting, you know, we're getting ready. So you see right there, that's the bed we're sleeping on. And it's just one of the mattresses. I was going to replace it anyway. Um, so we'll, you know, I'm going to just throw it away uh, at the end when we were leaving anyway. So pretty much got the house. We did a final pack this weekend. So I got a few things left like the washer and dryer, but that's about it. So Bev goes to surgery tomorrow. That's uh, huge for us. Hopefully everything goes well with that. And Daisy uh, uh, will be a good girl while she's uh, doing it. Also made some bread this morning. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the boat. Chris went and looked at the boat. Uh, yeah, uh, Saturday and uh, <clears throat> the one down in Florida where he's at and uh, there's good and bad there's good and bad about it uh, the good was that he said that the boat was in really good condition had been well loved lots of stuff going on with it uh, over uh, you know the, the guy that that owned it has been on it for about 10 years and he loved the boat and and he, he said you can see that in the ownership now with that being said there is some good and bad points with it. Uh, I'll start out with a couple of the bad points is it's right at the top of my, uh, my price. So if I bought that boat, uh, I would be already maxed out uh, with the money. And you know, that, that is something I gotta think about. Is it that far along? Cause I would have to dump about 20 grand into that boat to get it ready uh, to go on, on, on the adventure. So, I'm not sure, you know, and, and a couple of the big key points on it are the price, obviously, and um, it has old fuel tanks. That's probably the big one for me. Had it had the fuel tanks replaced, I would have, as soon as I got to Florida there, I would have been uh, over there looking at it, for sure. But because of the old fuel tanks in it, you know, that's a $10,000 fix. When you're looking at these old uh, uh, trawlers that are in our price range, you got to be very careful because... They're, you know, it's, it, it, these old uh, iron tanks are good for 20 years, that's it. And he's already had problems with the tank. I mean, it's already started rusting out, and he's already had to have it repaired, so that's never a good sign. Uh, and they're going to rust no matter what he does. So that metal gets rust and it contaminates your fuel. It's just not a good environment, and it's not what I, I'm, what if I go with one of these old trawlers, it won't be in its old original uh, fuel tanks, I can tell you that. So with that being said, uh, that's, that's, that's a huge negative for the boat and being at the top of the price range. And after talking to Chris, I mean, they're, they want to sell the boat, but they want to sell it for what they want for it, uh, basically. And, you know, and he said that, you know, you're, are you going to get a good deal off of it? Are you going to be able to get it from them? No, they're, 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 uh, they're pretty much, they're not ready to sell yet, is the word he used. They're only ready to sell if they get their terms. So... That, and it's fine with me, and it's still on my list. It still could be a possibility of one of the boats, uh, you know, it's still up there on my list. It's probably number three now. So when we get there, we'll go look at Southern Bell. We still got Southern Bell to look at. And then we have the other, the 44, up in Maine. Uh, but also we need to get down there to the river house to uh, check the dockage to make sure that it can even hold a 44-foot trawler. But I'm hoping that it can. And I... And the more I look at that boat and the more I think about it, uh, that is a nice boat. And that guy was getting that boat ready to do the exact uh, cruise that we're doing. And uh, he did a lot of things to it. There's a, there, but how old is it and how much is done? But the fuel tanks are done on it. That boat is, uh, as far as the fuel tanks go, they're done. Uh, as far as electronics go, they're probably all going to have old electronics. So I'd have to ditch them all anyway. Anyway. I'll just give you guys a, a weekly update here. Uh, I'll try and do another video this week. I say, I've been saying that every week here, you know, Folded Metal, I've been busy with Folded Metal. I got a bunch of projects with them. I got to go to Vegas this week. Bev's surgery, so that'll uh, tie me up a little bit. 
But I want to keep you guys updated here, and uh, we'll try and get out as many videos as we can, uh, sharing the whole experience with you guys. Anyway, Paul Bates, love you guys. Peace out. Be good or be good at it. Thanks. Bye.